Hello everybody, this is Jeff Janess and welcome to our fourth lab exercise on the ArcGIS Hydrology Tools. In this lab exercise we're just going to recreate the flow direction raster using the correctly filled DEM so it'll work better in the next lab exercise when we create a watershed. So let's just do that. Uh, uh, you actually did this in lab exercise two so it'll be pretty familiar. We go to the tools we look for the flow direction tool. This time our surface raster is the filled DEM. We're going to call this output flow direction correct this time so we know it's the good one. We're using the D8 direction type because that's what the watershed tool requires. Just hit go. And now we have flow direction over the entire landscape. Notice that all the values are 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. Those might seem like strange numbers to choose. There's actually an interesting binary numerical story here. Um, I don't know if I'm going to go into it too much here, but uh, if you take a look at the lab exercise, I try to explain what's going on. But the basic thing that's going on here is that if you take an eight-digit binary number, those values in decimal format can range between 0 and 255. But if you put those numbers in binary format, so if you type the number 1 in binary, well, in binary, it looks like this. If you type the number 2, it looks like this. Uh, the interesting thing about these decimal values that are used in the analysis is that they each correspond with one of the digits in an eight-digit binary number. So you can look at the binary value and actually tell the direction that, it's, that the raster is facing by the place of the number one value in that, in that eight-digit number. If you have a one in the eighth digit, that means it's facing east. If you have a one in the sixth digit, that means it's facing south have a one in the third digit, that means it's facing northwest. Another interesting thing about this method of recording direction values is that you could actually put a number one in any of these binary places, and that would indicate the direction that flow could also be flowing in that direction. And if I wanted to somehow designate with a single decimal number that flow goes in, say, both east and southeast directions, all I'd need is a way to have the binary value have ones in both of these places here. Now, the way I do that actually is just take the two decimal values and add them together. So if I added one and two, well, one plus two equals three, turns out that the binary format for three puts a one in both of those slots. So it's, it's a really interesting method here. And based on this method, you can actually designate all possible permutations of directions into these eight directions just with a single eight digit binary number. And remember the highest binary number is eight ones and that corresponds with a decimal value of 255. So that means that you can designate all possible permutations of directions with a single decimal number that lies between zero and 255. Anyway, it's something that coders really enjoy and, and I thought you might wanna see a little example of this in action. It's kinda cool. All right, thanks so much everybody. Let's move on to lab exercise five.